Hello everyone, welcome to Manocha Academy. Today we are going to talk about a very important organ of our body, the heart. And when we talk about it, today we are also going to see a model of this heart. We are going to open up the model and we are also going to see the inside of the heart and how it would look like. I wish I could show you the structure of a real heart, but that's not possible. So we are going to do with this one today. Let's dive into the video and let's learn about the structure of a human heart. As you must be knowing by now that the human heart is divided into four chambers for the sole purpose of keeping the oxygenated and the deoxygenated blood separated from each other. So if you look at the structure of this human heart, this heart is placed like this in our body. So this is the right side of the heart, whereas this is the left side of the heart. And the right and the left sides are divided and partitioned in such a way that we have total four chambers inside from inside, right? But before we go into the structure that is inside the structure of the heart, let us have a look at the heart in, you know, in 360 degrees. So this is how the heart looks like from the front. That is, if you look at the heart like this, and as you turn it, this is how it looks from behind. That is, if you look at the heart from behind, it is, this is how it looks like. All these are the blood vessels. We are going to name and talk about all the blood vessels. Let us first understand what are the four chambers. So the four chambers of the heart are these two which are known as, which are the upper chambers and these are known as the atria. The atria are the upper two chambers of the heart that open into the lower chamber which you can't see from here but it is divided into two parts internally. So let's see how it is divided into two parts. So see if you open this, you can see that these are the two chambers of the atria. So these are the two chambers of the atria, right? And these are the two ventricles. So this cavity and this cavity along with this cavity together forms the two ventricles. Now if you look at the wall of the atria and the wall of the ventricle, you can see that the wall of the atria are much thinner than the wall of the ventricles because the ventricles have to pump blood which mu with much more force so that the blood can reach much uh, you know uh, into a farther, further part of your body whereas the atria just pumps blood to the ventricle so it does not have to create or generate that much force. In between the two ventricles lies these, this, this particular uh, part which is the interventricular septum. This is the part that keeps the right and the left ventricles separated from each other. Now from the ventricle we can see two blood vessels are originating. So one blood vessel which is originating from the this is the right ventricle so it is originating from the right ventricle and going out and see after going out it is divided in, dividing into two parts branches. So one branch is coming on this side and the other branch is this one, this blue part. Okay. So there are two branches, one going to the right lung and one going to the left lung. Right. So this is the right atrium, sorry, right ventricle and the right ventricle is connected to one blood vessel. Similarly, the left ventricle is also connected to one blood vessel which is, which is this red one which is arched and as you can see it is going back behind the heart and there are branches which are going up also. We will talk about the blood vessels but before that in between the atria and the ventricles you can see this small thing here. So this is a valve. What is the function of a valve? You can see the, when, when heart pumps blood can go through these valves and reach the ventricle. So from the atria, blood can pass and reach the ventricle, but these valves do not open in the opposite direction. So if blood wants to go from ventricle towards the atria, these valves will not open and therefore it will, blood will not be able to backflow. So valves inside the heart, they actually prevent backflow of blood. They prevent blood from going in the opposite direction. It only flows in one direction because of the presence of these valves. Now what are these valves? In between the right atria and the right ventricle, the valve that we have that is the tricuspid valve because it has three cup shaped structures and in between the left atria and the left ventricle, we have the bicuspid valve because it is made up of two cup shaped structures. Okay, 
by meaning two cuspid meaning cusps now if you look at the blood vessels let us first talk about the blood vessels that enter the heart the blood vessel that enters the right atrium is this blue blood vessel which is you can see bringing blood straight into the right atrium and there is another blood vessel which is bringing blood into the right atrium so these two blood vessels from below and from above they are bringing blood into the right atrium what is what are these two blood vessels called this one is called the superior vena cava which is bringing blood from the upper part of the body that is the part which is present above the heart and this is called the inferior vena cava which is bringing blood from the lower part of the body that is the part which is present below the heart so superior means above vein because they are bringing blood towards the heart and cava because they are really like like large cavities because these veins have very big diameter so the superior vena cava brings blood from the upper that is the superior part of the body and the inferior vena cava brings blood from the lower that is the inferior part of the body the blood vessel that enters the left atria are these two so if you see the heart from behind you'll see two blood vessels coming from the uh, left lung and two blood vessels coming from the right lung both these blood vessels the four blood vessels they come and enter into the atria now left atria now if you see a little closely now if you just look at it closely into the atria right atria you can see four openings here so 1 2 3 4 okay and all these four openings are basically openings of these four blood vessels which are bringing blood from the lung into the left atria what are these blood vessels called these are called pulmonary veins pulmonary because they are connected to the lungs and vein because they bring blood towards the heart towards the heart after this when the two atria are full of blood so the right atria contains blood that has come from the rest of the body that is this blood contains less oxygen and more carbon dioxide whereas the blood which is present in the left atria that contains more oxygen because they have come fresh from the lung when these two atria contract the blood goes into the two ventricles and from the ventricle the only passage that is there is from the right ventricle blood can enter into this art blood vessel and from the left ventricle blood can enter into this blood vessel right so if you look at these blood vessels this blood vessel takes the blood to the lungs from the right atrium oxygen less or blood containing less oxygen goes through this blood vessel to the lungs for getting oxygen this blood vessel is called the pulmonary artery because it is joined to the lungs therefore it's pulmonary and artery because it is taking blood away from the heart arteries take blood away from the heart again the left ventricle gives blood into this blood vessel which is called the aorta this aorta takes blood to different parts of the body and this is also an artery this is actually the largest artery of the human body aorta and its main function is to take blood to different parts of the body so some of the branches go up they take blood up towards the head and some of the branches come down so they bring blood down towards the lower part of the body just like you have two valves which guard the opening or the junction between the atria and the ventricle you also have two valves here if you can see here there are three valves 1 2 and 3 similarly here also there are three valves 1 2 and 3 together they form what is known as the semi lunar valve the speciality of the semi lunar valve is that if you push it it will open and blood can go into the blood vessel but if you push it from inside it will not open and blood will not flow back into the ventricle so the these valves which are known as the semi lunar valves they help the blood to flow from the ventricle into the blood vessels but it prevents their back flow so these two valves are called semi lunar valves and this particular valve which is present at the junction of this blood vessel what is this blood vessel called this is the pulmonary artery so this valve which is present at the junction of the pulmonary artery this is called the pulmonary semi lunar valve whereas this valve which is present at the junction of the aorta this is called the aortic semilunar valve 
So there are two valves here, pulmonary and aortic semilunar valves. So if you look at the structure of the heart then, blood is coming from the upper part of the body and the lower part of the body into the right atrium. From the right atrium it is going into the right ventricle. From the right ventricle through this blood vessel which is the pulmonary artery, it is going to the lung to get oxygen. After getting oxygen, it is returning through these blood vessels which are called the pulmonary veins. So these blood vessels which are called the pulmonary veins, it is returning to, to the left atrium. From the left atrium, it is going to the left ventricle. From the left ventricle, the blood is coming out of the largest artery of the body which is known as the aorta. And this blood is taken to the upper part of the body and to the lower part of the body by the branches of the aorta. This arch that is formed here is called the aortic arch. And if you see inside, there are valves which guard the opening, guards the opening. So you have the tricuspid valve and the bicuspid valve. They prevent blood from going back into the atrium from the ventricle. So once the blood has come into the ventricle, they, will, they cannot go back. Similarly, there are semilunar valves as the, at the opening of the pulmonary artery and aorta and these semilunar valves prevent blood from flowing back into the ventricle. So once they have gone into the pulmonary artery and aorta, they cannot flow back, right? So that is how your heart looks like. That is how the structure of the heart is and I hope you have at least got a visual idea about how the heart looks like. So that was all for today's video. I hope you liked the video and learned from it. Do visit our website manochaacademy.com and our Android app Manocha Academy. Links are given below. We have courses for physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, AI and coding. Along with that we have the newly added courses on NEET and IIT Foundation. You will get concept videos, live classes, quizzes, mock tests, questions and revision notes. So they will be perfect for your exam preparation. Do hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss out on any of our videos. Let's stay connected with Manocha Academy. Let's learn together.